The range chart, also called the R chart, is also designed to use fixed sampling. In this case, given a sample of n observation, we're going to calculate the range, which is the minimum value minus the maximum value, and plot it on the control chart. So for the first time we see something which is different, that's the scale of the range and the evaluation of the control limits. So far the control limits were pretty close to the, the observation themselves because they were evaluated as a plus or minus 3 sigma. Now we need to derive control limits for something which is not the observation directly or the average of the, the observation, but it's the variation of those observations. So to derive those control limits, we need to make use of some statistical table. They are one well known table and you could find them in the appendix of the PySQC manual to actually assess what are the limits for the variation or the variation itself. The range chart used a minimum sample size of 2 and this time we only got up to 8 observation per sample. We're trying to assess what is the short-term variability of the process using an R chart. So a small sample size or short period of time. For larger sample size or longer period of time, we will use a standard deviation chart that we're going to introduce in a few slides. Again, the drawback from using the range chart is the same as the X-bar chart, is that you need to complete the sample before actually being able to look at new data.